I'm Paula Delgadis Wickersham and I work in fused glass and I'm also a lampwork bead artist. Oh, fantastic. And um, Paula, can you tell me how did you discover the world of fused glass? Oh, thank you. It's a, it was a circuitous route. <laughs> um, so when I first got started as actually as in, in glass, working in glass as a lampwork bead artist. Oh. And it was about four years ago and I had enjoyed one of my friend's work. She did a lot of bead stringing, a lot of jewelry mm -hmm. making. Uh, but what I liked was I wanted to know how to make the beads, not just, right. not just string them. So I talked with a couple local glass artists here in the Northwest and mm -hmm. they pointed me in the right direction. And I took some classes at Bellevue Community College to learn ah. how to do lamp work glass. And that, that's what started kind of my love affair with, with glass. That's about four years ago. And then, um, and then I, I love making jewelry, love making uh, glass beads. Mm -hmm. But it sort of has a limited application. Yeah. So, so then I started thinking, well, you know, if I could, I could make some larger pieces. I have this, I have this kiln and I could, I could make something that's a little more, um, has a little more application, mm -hmm. is a little more functional. So I, I started thinking about wanting to do some fused glass pieces. Right. And and that that's it's only been about six months that I've been doing fused glass. So oh. I've been really enjoying it. I'm learning a lot of techniques and wow. get, getting ready for the show as I'm as I'm uh, learning the techniques well, and mostly self-taught at this point. That is amazing. I can't <laughs> believe you've only been doing this for six months. Um, I'm very impressed. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> and the colors that you use are just beautiful. And so, what what inspires you when you when it comes to creating your pieces? Well, I really love the outdoors and mm -hmm. love nature, and so I draw a lot of inspiration from from nature and from and from the outdoors and from okay. colors that are that are natural. But I also ha I really like textiles too. So a lot of I see a lot of pieces. I've seen like large rugs. How can I translate that look <laughs> into glass or um, this one piece is the inspiration for this piece was actually a scarf, oh, and so I, I, I tried I this beautiful scarf that I tried to translate in, into gra into glass. So, so that uh, it's it's. It was pretty yeah. successful. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. <laughs> you can really see it. In, in It's almost like you can kind of see the fabric in there. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm, yeah. I'd like, so I like to, um, you know, glass, especially infused glass, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm finding there's a lot of geometric uh, structure in, in, in a lot of pieces because it's very, it's much easier to cut straight right. glass. Yeah. But <laughs> I really like to try to see how I can make some movement and flow yeah. in my pieces. So I'm Absolutely. On, on and you that. can see that certainly in, in the blue um, plate here that you've kind of done the swirls and everything. It just looks amazing. Well, thank you. So yeah. that plate, my son helped design. It's, oh. uh, he has his first apartment and he thought it would just be really great if I could <laughs> make a set of plates for him for his first apartment. That's so great. that, so he helped me pick out the glass and, and it was kind of fun. We were at the, at the store picking out glass. Yeah. He says, you need to get me out of here. <laughs> I'm getting ideas. It's so. quite addictive, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's bad when yeah. you get ideas. <laughs> And Paula, what is it that's drawn you to the Sammamish Arts Fair? I understand this is your first first show? It is my first show. Okay. So I've been an artist all my life and I've worked in a lot of different uh, mediums. Mm -hmm. I worked in, in oils and acrylics and watercolors. I, I did a lot of pottery when I was younger. Mm -hmm. I, worked, I actually did some welding when I was in, in, in high school wow. and in college. And then I had, I had children, but I had a very creative career. I was a, a freelance photographer and writer for a number of years and that sort of... Um, Kind of salad that that be my artistic <laughs> expression, and, and now my children are uh, grown, almost grown. I have uh, a son who's in college and a, mm -hmm. and a daughter who's a senior in high school. So there's more time for uh, artistic that's expression in my, in my house now. So <laughs> so that's been a it's, it's been great to to explore new mediums and to kind of fall yeah. in love with all the pieces of, of art that that uh, that I used to enjoy yeah. so much. Oh, that's just fantastic and we are really looking forward to seeing you at the art fair this year and I think that uh, you'll be very popular. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much. Yes, it's been, absolutely. It's great to meet all the artists and yeah. I'm really looking forward to being part of it. That's wonderful. Thank you so much, Paula. Thank you, sir. Okay.